what what did we find out so the truck it was moving it would try to drive forward and park it's because the forward drum and direct drum i think is what they're called are welded together inside of here hopefully we can get them apart without damaging our good input shaft here built input shaft so that's definitely what's wrong with it we're going to assess all the other damage on the clutches and everything uh, but that's definitely what the issue was these two were welded together so whenever you went to start the truck the converter was just it was basically trying to drive the truck even in park so now we just have to get this apart reinspect everything replace what needs replaced and we're going to put the new valve body in and clean it all up what's out go ahead and give you guys a little representation of the clutches it's supposed to be flat <laughs> and it's not flat so zip tie all these together rebuild kit will not be here until tomorrow keep all this stuff in order we'll forget we're not professionals so May. Cleaned, ready to go back together. Mason, we are going to be installing the new flat out valve body now that we're doing a rebuild. Um, it will be a good time to go ahead and put the fresh valve body in the truck. Um, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna put a different pump in the truck. This is one I had, a good, uh, good usable pump I had just because we don't know how much junk got ran through that other one. We drained the converter out. I'm pretty sure I've already showed you guys the clutches ones, but you can see that second gear clutch um yeah so we'll jump over here i'll show you I'll plug this fan real quick we have the anteater completely wired up all we got to do is uh just finished tidying a couple things up and it's good to go so anteater got to get it put got to get it tuned the computer we had we were trying to flash the tune in um it is a it doesn't have windows on it or something it won't work i got another laptop i've used for it before that'll work this is the converter out of mason's truck this is an ats triple disc low stall 12 bolt converter it takes 12 bolts all the way around it it takes forever to take this thing in and out um it's it's crazy you can actually use it as a six bolt converter um if you want to but it has 12 bolts so you might as well just use all 12 of them um, but you can use this on like a a, uh, a six bolt uh, flex plate if you wanted to but this thing is held up great so far um we did drain the fluid out of it and all the fluid that came out of this transmission guys was brown and it was burnt but there was not a lot of metal shavings in it so um we just cleaned everything up the best we could and we're going to just kind of put it back together we were gonna have, um, we were gonna do a little bit more extensive work on the transmission, but for right now, time and everything we have, this is just what we're gonna do. Um, wow, sorry for being so close to my face. This is just what we're gonna do for now. So yeah, transmission rebuild tomorrow, flash the anteater, 
hopefully in the amount of time we have we can get this thing in the truck if not it's going to be wednesday we get it in the truck filled up with fluid all that good okay, stuff guys, blah, 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 now blah. the next day we are now assembling the transmission with the new clutches and everything we got the case all cleaned up bailey's just getting the clutches soaking some clean atf so they're nice and lubed up before we put them all in what we got the everything put back in the case it's super clean ready to go um, now we're just going to start assembling this thing we got the overdrive housing put back on the transmission now we're just assembling everything up here in the middle bailey's getting everything cleaned up just going back together okay guys we got the transmission all put together we put this billet accumulator in and we got a bigger wedge here i'm just going to torque down the bands and uh, install the valve body and then we will be got ready to put this back in the valve body in now we'll just go through and torque this to 100 pounds or 100 inch pounds 100 inch pounds so go through torque all your bolts um the valve bodies can be a little tricky to get back in i had to fight here with it for a minute but um i put them in with the park rod all the way forward and then go to stick it up in there and just move this output right, shaft we got the slide right in. uh valve body all in torqued down we got the filter put on pan all cleaned out and new gasket stuck on here we're going to stick this thing back together and we'll be ready to assemble have it the transmission is all assembled um i just kind of got it on the ground to clean all the grease off of it got it cleaned up real good and we are ready to stick this bad girl back in the truck sage is ready for us to stick it back in there see if it works um yeah basically the only thing we really did to it was we changed the clutches in the direct and uh forward drum the overdrive is literally maybe has four to five passes on it and we don't have a good press here to take that apart so we didn't re mess with uh, rebuilding the overdrive um all the material that came out of this was just brown there was not a lot of uh metal shavings or anything like that so we just kind of cleaned everything up as good as we could flush the coolers out and um uh, new filter obviously new valve body and drain the converter try to get some of that old fluid out of it and new fluid in but it's not like something detrimental inside of it happened necessarily um this isn't honestly the 100 percent correct way to do this and we're completely aware but with the limited amount of time we have this is just what we did um, basically everything in the transmission at this point is gonna be new other than the converter and the overdrive housing um so yeah hey guys we now have the transmission in mason's truck we got it back in we got the anteater all hooked up everything's ready to go they're all checking right, the fluids the Allen set for the ratchet. We're checking the fluids really quick and we're going to see if this thing will drive we're pretty confident everything's going to be good but you never know so here we go fingers crossed hey guys the transmission is completely back in the dodge we are taking it on the very first drive on the anteater it's gonna be completely new setup. Huh? Mason's grinning from ear to ear. We can't get that. We already checked it. It's good. for us earlier today it was on the 26 inch drag radials and that's what we've been driving it on so right now i'm going to 
um, write a new tune for this tire size because the tire size is wrong. What size are those tires, Bailey? Yeah. Huh? I'll have to do the calculator because I don't know. With no tread. Okay, so I'll write this new tune here. We'll flash it into the truck with the right tire size. And I already have the other one saved. So whenever we get to the track, we'll just bring the laptop and we'll be able to just switch it out uh, for the 26 inch drag radials and then be able to switch back and forth between the street tires and the 26 inch drag radials. We did have um, a little bit of an issue with the truck getting an overdrive. We actually only got it into overdrive one time. Um, it was doing this before, but me and Bailey changed the lip seal on the piston and this new valve body is changed and the anteater is obviously applying it so we don't really know why it's not going into overdrive but we'll figure it out and we can still race without overdrive um but yeah we're trying to figure that out right now so i'm going to write this new tune in up and there you guys have it got the transmission rebuilt back in the truck everything's hooked up everything's working great um other than overdrive still can't get the overdrive to apply um we're gonna race that way it'll be fine he'll barely need overdrive maybe when he goes to the trap at the end of the track but he'll be able to still race um we may run into the truck being a little smoky we don't have a AFC foot in it. It's got 200 horse injectors on a P-pump. There's no fuel plate, so there's no scaling there. It's just fuel all the time. Yeah, that's going to be... We'll see how that goes. We are going to bring the parts if we need to try and tune it down. If we can, we're just going to do our absolute best. Um, yeah, so there you guys have it. The truck's driving. It's back together. Um, yeah, man, we will see you guys at the track. I don't know how much uh, recording we're going to be able to do. I do have to work, so um, yeah, I won't be able to record much. Uh, but basically, Bailey, I'll try to get Bailey or Mason to take over the camera and record as much as they can for you guys. Uh, but it'll probably be, honestly, this, this race is going to be kind of just a little short video. You'll probably just get to see the passes. And it's honestly about it. I don't really know what else they're going to record. Uh, but I'll try my best to talk them into <laughs> to recording a lot um yeah that's the end of the video if you guys like it hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel we do appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and we'll see you guys on the next one